themselves. So egotistical. And when you find guys that don't fall in the line between analytical and gut, that's when the problem hits. And Rob Thompson has walked that tightrope beautifully. He put the ego check aside. He put the gut feel aside. And what he did was effectively cut the Astros lineup in half. What he did was find a way, a simplistic way, but a way nonetheless, to put strength on strength. And so he goes to Jose Alvarado because Alvarez has been unreal this season. You talk about the mammoth home run that he hit against the Seattle Mariners to win that game. Since that time, though, his postseason has been actually less than uh, daunting, if you will. And it's wild to see some of the splits that this Astros team has put together offensively. Altuve, goodness, he looks lost. Jordan Alvarado, since that Seattle series, hasn't put together some very good plate appearances. They've been less than stellar. Trey Mancini doesn't have a hit. And last night, you got so desperate that you pinch hit a guy who was hitting 071 for Trey Mancini, who's literally hitting zero in the postseason. But let's go back to Rob Thompson for a second. A managerial masterclass by doing the simplistic the right way. Jordan Alvarado's coming up. He's got Bregman following and Kyle Tucker after that. Logic dictates anybody that's played MLB the show, anybody that's watched baseball, understands, okay, two out of three of the next hitters are left-handed. I'm going to turn to my lefty. And in a high-leverage spot early in the game, when you are down 5-3 and you have an opportunity to continue to chip away and chip away and chip away, Rob Thompson realized that the most important outs to get were the next two. And so he sent his high-leverage left-handed hitter to the mound to get those two outs. What does he do? Gets those two outs. Jose Alvarado's stuff was electric. It's been electric all postseason. And quite frankly, it's been great since he's returned from AAA. But there's been a new gear that Jose Alvarado has hit. There's been a new stride where that shirt that he has reigns true. Strike one, strike two, good luck. 101 on the fastball, painting on the outer half, 95 on the cutter. What are you going to do with a pitch on the fist at 95? You've got two options. You swing through it or you break your bat. Jose Alvarado was electric last night, and Rob Thompson did exactly what he needed to do to get those two outs. He sends Alvarado back out to start the sixth. And then right-handed dominant lineup comes back to play. Back around comes the righties. And he says, okay. I'm going to take your strength and make it my strength. And I'm going to go right back to the bullpen, and I'm going to turn to Zach Eflin. And every time Zach Eflin comes out onto the field, I go, this guy's got no out pitch. He nibbles, and he has no out pitch. But he pitched well, again, last night. One hit, one walk, gets four outs. Comes in, finishes the sixth inning. Pitches the seventh, gives me four outs, gives you four outs, gives us four outs, and most importantly, gives Rob Thompson four outs. Go to the top of the eighth. In comes Ranger Suarez. Sorry. Top of the seventh, still, or bottom of the seventh, still the top, bottom of the seventh. You have the lefties come through once again. Jordan Alvarez and Kyle Tucker. And Rob Thompson says, there is beauty in managerial simplicity. I'm going to go to my lefty, my other high leverage lefty. And he gets two of the three batters he faces out. And he gets the two outs that are the most paramount outs when you need them. In the bottom portion of that inning, Ranger Suarez comes in and shuts the door for the inning. Comes back out for the top, uh, bottom half of the next inning. Unable to get the out, but then you turn to your righty. Your best bullpen arm all season long, you turn to the righty, and Sir Anthony Dominguez delivers. And then it's as simple as matching innings at this point. The reality of the situation was if this game went any longer, if this postseason game went to an 11th inning, the, 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 the feel swings dramatically in the Astros' favor because of the fact that the only guy that you have left to come in and pitch that you trust implicitly, 
was Andrew Bellotti, and I don't even know if implicitly is the right word. Maybe you trust a little bit. But this team fought and clawed its way back to 5-5. And it became a four-inning game. Five, or six, seven, eight, nine. And then, of course, you play extra innings. But it became a scoreless four-inning game. And in a scoreless four-inning game, when you are going up against a vaunted Astros bullpen, the best bullpen in baseball, the best bullpen by far in the postseason, and you come out victorious, everything right now is pointing in the Phillies' direction. So think about everything that had to go into winning this game. You've got to beat Justin Verlander, first ballot Hall of Famer. Guy that, when he gets five runs of support in a game, listen to this stat, is 163 and two when he gets five plus runs of support. Now, Justin Verlander doesn't get saddled with the loss yesterday, but they lost that game in part because this Phillies offense scratched and clawed and fought their way against a, f a future first ballot Hall of Famer to make it 5-2, 5-3, 5-5. And then when you get into that battle, a four-inning, well, a five-inning affair with the league's elite bullpen, and you come away in that game up one nothing in the series, everything that you have done has culminated in this moment. Yes, there's still three games you have to win. Yes, there's still a lot of series left to be played. And yes, yes, the Houston Astros are still the best team in baseball. But you have stolen the momentum from that team that has not lost this postseason. You have an opportunity today with your ace. Not to say that Framber Valdez is, is bad by any means. The kid is good. Wicked slider, good stuff from the left side. Today is going to be another fight. But you have an opportunity in front of you today with a game in hand. You've already done your job to now get greedy, to now get to a point where you throw your ace in a spot where you could potentially come back across the street. We are at Xfinity Live right now. You could come back across the street where this crowd, you, the Phillies fan, have been the most raucous I have ever heard of fan base. I'm staring at Lincoln Financial Field. You remember how loud it was against the Minnesota Vikings on that Sunday afternoon in the NFC title game? I know there's more people at the link. I know it's more open air because there's open spots to let sound escape. But I got to be honest with you. I don't think I've heard this city louder than I did against the San Diego Padres. You now have an opportunity at hand. It's still going to be difficult. You still have to bring your A game. You have an opportunity to step on the Houston Astros' throats and take a commanding two games to none series lead coming back here to the sports complex for three straight games. We'll worry about pitching matchups when we get there because today, unlike yesterday, today, you have the starting pitching advantage. Framber Valdez is really, really good. Zach Wheeler's been electric. You've got to take advantage. You've got to continue to put the, the, the foot to the, the, the floor, put the pedal to the floor. But you have the upper hand now because all of the momentum is yours. Every single shred of 7-0. This is going to be a quick series. Kyle Tucker, we'd like to eliminate them in four games. Shut up. Shut up, Kyle Tucker. Guess what? Good luck eliminating the team in four games. Unless you're going to win a negative game, good luck doing it. 610-632-0975. It is a beautiful, electric day here at the Sports Complex in South Philly. We're at Xfinity Live. It is FanFest 2022. It's Listen, it's going to be a pep rally here today. This is what this is. This is all we could have hoped for. The Phillies are playing meaningful late October baseball. Think about this. The Philadelphia Eagles are the last undefeated team in the NFL. They're 6-0. They are the last undefeated team in the NFL, and they almost feel like an afterthought because of what the Phillies are doing right now. So if you're driving down here to FanFest, you're in the parking lot, you're hanging out at home, you're hanging out with us on the YouTube chat, hello YouTube chat, 
Join us, 610-632-0975. And I am ecstatic. I've talked enough in this opening segment. I could talk for 75 straight hours. I love this. This is where I want to be today. This is where I hope you want to be today. Let's go to our man back at our Ballot Kenwood Studios. That is our producer, our co-host, the guy keeping us live and local, Matt Menark. First and foremost, Matt, a good Saturday afternoon to you. I don't have to ask how you're feeling because I know how you're feeling because it's the same way I'm feeling. It's the same way everybody else that's hanging out here is feeling. But a good Saturday afternoon to you nonetheless. The vibes, are, the vibes are strong. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, one sec. Take your time, buddy. You got a lot going on. Listen, you're trying to manage a That's remote right. broadcast, answering the phones. People are waiting for me to, to go on. Then they could just call up. That, see, right. that's, it <laughs> nev never happens any other way, right? No, never. No, but I, I feel the same way as you. Um, but an another way I feel, I, I didn't have a sense of dread yesterday when they were down 5 nothing. How can you? It, it almost feels like it, it makes me think back to the – the 2017 Eagles, and I know there's been talk about that throughout, but uh, even when the Eagles were down that year, at any point during the game, you never felt like they were going to lose or they are going to be out of it. So even when they were down 5 nothing against a Hall of Fame pitcher, I, I didn't feel like, all right, the game one, you got you to like wipe your hands of it, that's it, go to game two. I never felt that way at all. Which is, which is amazing, right? Because you just said a Hall of Fame pitcher. And we know what the World Series dreadful numbers are for Justin Verlander. 0-5 in eight career starts now with a plus-7 ERA because he pushed it. To, last night his ERA was 9. Give up five earned runs in five innings. So he pushes it higher than it was already. It was a ridiculous number to begin with. Here's the thing, though. Just because the guy has passed transgressions, I don't believe in bringing those past transgressions into the current game because it's a brand new ball game. Even though he stunk through most of his Major League World Series tenure, even though he's been awful in the World Series, I still look across and I say, that's Justin Verlander, that's a future Hall of Famer, that's a guy who at 38 years old, coming off major reconstructive arm surgery, is about to win the AL Cy Young. I don't take anything for granted. And this team clawed its way back to 5-2, to 5-3, to 5-5. Keep in mind, too, the fact that Justin Verlander retired the first 10 batters he faced in order. 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-
Uh, Tevin, Richard, everybody else in the line, hang tight. We'll get to you on the other side. 610-632-0975. Producing today's show, that would be Matt Menark. He's back at our Ballot Kinwood Studios. Can't wait to see Matt at FanFest later today. And I can't wait to see you at FanFest later today as we broadcast live until 3 o'clock from Xfinity Live right here on 97.5 The Fanatic. This is 97.5 The Fanatic, live from Fan Fest 2022 at Xfinity Live, presented by FanDuel Sportsbook and on 97.5 The Fanatic, Philadelphia. How about this? It is a beautiful, glorious time to be a Philly sports fan. You know the deal. The team I just talked about, your local baseball team, they're three wins away from taking a title home and bringing us a parade to Broad Street. The team across the street, the last undefeated team in professional football. How about your professional soccer team? They're knocking on the door of a cup run themselves. It is a beautiful time to be a Philly sports fan, and that's why I can't recommend enough. If you want to get some action in on these games, I can't recommend enough. Our incredible, incredible sponsor, the Parks Race and Sportsbook. The casino app, the sportsbook app, it is a beautiful, all-encompassing app. Listen, I've been telling you about this since March. You have the opportunity in the palm of your hand to get every single sports bet that you want at the, palm of, at, at the click of a button. Listen, I told you, you can bet the championship series in baseball. You can bet professional football. How long is your team going to stay undefeated? You can bet the professional soccer championship. You can bet pro hoops, pro hockey, and, of course, throughout the day, Listen, my alma mater, I don't love it today. They're playing an elite offense, a great defense. C.J. Stroud is going to go up and down the field with my alma mater. Don't like the Nittany Lions today. Think about the other side. I know the game's already started, but guess what? You can get in on the live line because the Parks Race and Sportsbook and the Parks Sportsbook and Casino app is the place to be and the place to bet right in the palm of your hand. But if you don't want to bet sports, you can bet all of your local casino games, your table games, your slots, everything that you can find at your local casino right in the palm of your hand. It's free to download and it's so easy to use. Go to the Apple Store, the Google Play Store, or go to pa.betparks.com and start playing with me today. I've already got my same game parlay locked in for game two tonight of the Baseball Championship Series. Must be 21 and in Pennsylvania or New Jersey. Gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. Hey, this is Brian, and I'm the owner of Valley Grove Construction. We are expanding our team and hiring skilled and creative carpenters. As a company that truly values its talented carpenters, we prove it with top dollar pay starting at $30 an hour, a healthy work-life balance, an aggressive 401k plan, a generous vacation package, paid holidays, and even a $100 weekly travel allowance. You heard me right. That's over $5,000 a year to help with gas and vehicle expenses. If you're interested in a variety of carpentry work like framing additions, setting kitchen cabinets, tiling bathrooms, basement remodeling, and historical restoration, then apply today at valleygroveconstruction.com and click the Join Our Team link. If you're tired of not working with great people, not doing the skilled work that you're capable of, or maybe you're self-employed and you're just tired of chasing down all of your suppliers for the materials that seem to never come in, then apply today at valleygroveconstruction.com. That's valleygroveconstruction.com and click to join our team link. Hi guys, it's Andrew with Oak Hills Medical Clinic. Are you struggling with ED and sick of the pills? Well, we have a major medical breakthrough that has helped thousands of men. Our wave technology is backed by 50 clinical studies, including from Cambridge University. It's proven to increase blood flow by repairing blood vessels. No pills and no side effects. If you're ready to put a stop to your ED and turn back the clock in the bedroom, call us now. And not only will the assessment and blood flow ultrasound be free, we'll also include something unique that produces immediate results in the bedroom. I don't think I've ever heard of it failing. This offer is worth $600, but it's free to those that call in the next two minutes. 215-302-9999. That's 215-302-9999. Guys, put a stop to your ED and get your love life back. Call Oak Hills Medical Clinic now to qualify for this unprecedented offer. 215-302-9999. Ray Maliazzi here for eBay Motors. You're driving along and some nimrod cuts you off. You hit the horn. <laughs> Jeez, it sounds like... eBay It looks like Mr. Cutoff Man needs a new seat cover. Try eBay Motors, pal. Get the right parts at the right prices.
watch your sports talk to talk about how Yeah, try.
That is why it is the best place to buy tickets for games three, four, and five. Compare all of the prices with the competing brands, but I promise you, you're not going to find a better place to buy tickets for games three, four, and five because you don't get hit. You make the memories that are going to last a lifetime. Ready today. And I've had people tweet at me that say they were in Houston. They were at the, the games against Atlanta, and they're making memories with their, their sons, their daughters, their family that they're never going to forget, forget. Allow TickPick.com to help you make those next memories. the car truck or SUV you want in stock today. Why wait for a new vehicle and overpay when Jeff has over 1,000 Jeeps, Rams, and more in stock? Jeff says, yes, you can get low leases and big discounts with new 2023 Grand Cherokees or 22 Ram 1500 starting at $225 per month for 24 months or take over 10000 off MSRP on select models. Jeff says, yes, you can still get 0% financing, zero down, and low payments. And Jeff says, yes, you can get top dollar for any trade or get out of that current lease months early. Credit problem? Jeff says, yes. Jeff's goal is 100% credit approval, no matter how bad your credit is. When the other dealers say no, Jeff D'Ambrosio always says, yes, you can. It's the Fall Car Fest of Savings going on now at Jeff D'Ambrosio Destination Downing Town. Call 610-269-9500 or gojeffauto.com. If you want it for less, you got to see Jeff. Tell him Andy Summer sent you. Jeep Adventure Days. Hey, it's cuz the weather's cooler and we're spending more time indoors. Need to change your kitchen in time for the holidays, all right? That's what I'm planning on doing. Now it's the perfect time to get game-winning deals at Colonial Marble and Granite's Fall Into Saving Sale. Get 20% off all marble, granite, quartz countertops, and kitchen cabinetry. Rush in now to score big on savings. Sale ends Sunday, October 30th. Visit colonialmarble.net and tell them cuz sent you. Finding the right Medicare plan? Oof, no easy feat. Kind of like those dances my granddaughter loves making me do. <laughs> but then I found Walgreens Find RX coverage. Let's you compare plans online, over the phone, or in person. Made Medicare shopping so easy. Plus, I found plans with low cost copays. <laughs> I can get down with that. Medicare annual enrollment ends December 7th. Find a plan that's right for you at walgreens.com slash Medicare. Have you been waiting for just the right job? Then welcome to the end of your search. Amazon has seasonal warehouse jobs in your area, and now is a great time to apply. You can start getting paid right away and work close to home. Applying is easy. You don't even need an interview. So what are you waiting for? Come join the team and get a great seasonal job offer today. Visit amazon.com slash hiring. Amazon is an equal opportunity employer. Hey guys, Xandra here to let you in on a little secret. If you're looking to get engaged, head over to Family & Company Jewelers in Marlton, New Jersey on November 3rd, 4th, and 5th for the Viraggio Bridal Show. Viraggio is one of the world's premier designers, and this is your chance to get their rings at a huge discount. I'm talking possibly saving yourself up to thousands of dollars on the ring of her dreams. The Viraggio Bridal Sale, November 3rd through the 5th, only at Family & Company Jewelers, South Jersey's Diamond Destination. Want to win tickets to a Sixers game? All season long, you can find us about town with Corona, proud beer sponsor of our Philadelphia 76ers. This Friday night, join the Tunis from 6 to 8 p.m. for Sixers pregame action with prize and ticket giveaways at New Deck Tavern. New Deck has 14 TVs throughout the venue. It's a great place to watch the game with Corona premiere on special for $4.50 during all Sixers games. New Deck Tavern, 3408 Sampson Street in Philadelphia. For details, go to the events page on 97.5 The Fan Fanatic.com. Follow them on Instagram and Facebook at New Deck Tavern. My heart was racing just making spaghetti. I could have waited to tell my doctor, but I didn't wait. I was short of breath just reading a book. I could have delayed telling my doctor, but I didn't wait. They told their doctors and found out they have atrial fibrillation, a condition which makes it about five times more likely to have a stroke. If you have one or more of these symptoms, irregular heartbeat, heart racing, chest pain, shortness of breath, fatigue, or lightheadedness, this is no time to wait. Contact your doctor. Brought to you by Bristol-Myers Squibb and Pfizer. 
Can I get the sales projections for the Springfield, Bristol, and Fairview stores? Val's Froyo Palace is dishing out three more locations. Uh, Jody, have you lined up interviews? They need three new store managers before they have a meltdown. And remember, they need at least five years' experience. Indeed can help them hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. We instantly connect you with quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your job description. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. Need new tires? CJ's Tire and Automotive is ready when you are. They'll get you in and out in no time. And right now, through November 6th, you can get up to $100 back when you buy a set of four select Hankook tires. Hankook tires provide smooth handling and enhanced driving comfort. They are built to last longer and increase fuel efficiency. No wonder Hankook tires are one of CJ's best sellers. With thousands of tires in stock and 17 convenient locations, CJ's has tires that anyone can afford. CJ's Tire and Automotive. Better, faster, and more affordable. It's Jimmy Rollins here, and I've joined the Bet Park Sportsbook team. The new Bet Parks app is everything you want in a mobile sportsbook, right from your phone. It's easy to sign up and faster to win than ever before. Try our same game parlays or bet live once the game starts. And right now, all new Bet Parks users get up to $750 sportsbook bonus back if your first bet isn't a winner. Go ahead and download the new Bet Parks app today. Win sports. Bet Parks. See website for terms and conditions. Bonus funds must be wagered once. Must be 21 and in Pennsylvania or New Jersey. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Parks Casino is holding a job fair on Friday, November 4th, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Parks East Building. Come visit our job fair for an interview on the spot for full and part-time positions. Parks needs enthusiastic and talented individuals to be part of a winning team at the number one casino in Pennsylvania. Enjoy great pay, a flexible schedule, and the best benefits in the region. Think you have what it takes? Join the number one casino team in the business on November 4th at Parks East. Visit parkscasino.com for details. Must be 21 to apply. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLING. Gear up for playoff baseball, Philly. Shop the largest selection of postseason gear at Rally House. Philly's tees, hats, hoodies, and more arriving daily. Eagles, Sixers, Villanova, Penn State, Temple, Phillies, Flyers, don't be late. Rally House, Rally House. It's your city, it's your house, it's the Rally House. Limited quantities, selection varies by location. WPEN Burlington, Philadelphia, a Beasley Media Group station, home of the most entertaining sports talk in Philadelphia. 97.5, The Fanatic, Philadelphia. Hour here on 97.5 The Fanatic as we broadcast live from Xfinity Live. The gates are just about to be open to start FanFest 2022. So come on down and say hello once you get inside. If you are uh, hanging around, I'll be here until 3 o'clock. Uh, we, we are, by the way, we are aware of the, uh, the YouTube issues, and I believe they're resolved. I think, maybe, ish. ish, something like that. All right, well, we'll pretend like they are. So our YouTube family, keep us updated. Uh, if uh, the issues are not resolved, but I think they should be. The number to join the conversation, 610-632-0975. I'm Tyler Zoli, back at our Ballot Kenwood Studios. That will be Matt Menark. He's with us until 3 o'clock today as well. At 3, we will turn things over to the Temple Football pregame show as they get set to take on uh, the midshipmen of Navy at 3.30. Again, the number to join the show, 610 632 Zero nine seven five. We're going to get to Robin Delco, Dominic in South Philly. We're going to talk to some more of our fanatic family once the introductions and everything get uh, underway and we uh, get things kind of back to scheduled broadcast. Uh, but before we get back to Dominic and Rob and everybody else hanging out with us as well, I mentioned Ranger Suarez before the break. Ranger Suarez is somebody, if you've heard me talk about the Phillies for the last two years, Ranger Suarez is somebody that I put enormous confidence in and I put with I, I associate with high leverage abilities now when I say high leverage abilities I don't mean that Ranger Suarez has elite stuff he doesn't have a plus fastball he doesn't have wipeout slider he doesn't have devastating changeup. he's not that type of pitcher when I think about those type of pitchers right Justin Verlander comes to mind elite level fastball when you think about the wipeout slider, the guy that you're going to face today, Framber Valdez, elite slider. You think about these kind of arms, Ranger Suarez is not the kind of guy that comes to mind. But what Ranger Suarez does well 
And what Ranger Suarez brings to me, brings to the table, and gives me the confidence in, not just starting, but now coming out of the bullpen once again, is Ranger Suarez is an efficient, effective, knows-how-to-pitch type pitcher. And what I mean by that is, when Ranger Suarez takes the mound, Ranger Suarez has a plan. Because he can't not have a plan. He doesn't have that 98, 99, 100 fastball. He doesn't have a wipeout devastating slider or changeup that he can turn to. He's got three good pitches, but none of them, would I say, are elite. But what Ranger Suarez has the ability to do is to attack the zone, is to know his pitch sequences, and is to know the guy that he is facing and what their tendencies are. Ranger Suarez is the epitome of a pitcher. And what I mean by that is for when people say, well, yeah, everybody's a pitcher, right? Anybody that takes the mound, they're a pitcher. What I mean by Ranger Suarez being a pitcher is that there is a there are pitchers and there are throwers. There are some guys in the league that just come in and they throw flames and they've got some great stuff but they don't know how to command the mound, attack the strike zone, and command an at-bat. There are guys, most of those guys you'll find become relief pitchers because they're just allowed to empty the tank for 15, 18, 21 pitches. Most of those guys also, when they lose their stuff, when they lose that elite level fastball, or they don't have the tight spin rate on a slider, most of those guys fizzle out very quickly. For example, a guy that got left off a playoff roster this year. If you would have told me this guy was getting left off playoff rosters in 2012, I would have told you you were insane. Araldus Chapman. Araldus Chapman is a thrower. Araldus Chapman has always been a thrower, and that was the rise, the meteoric rise, and the crashing fall of Araldus Chapman. Ranger Suarez will have efficiency in this league for a long time as long as he knows how to attack the strike zone, how to get ahead, how to stay ahead, and how to work batter's tendencies to his favor. That's what Ranger Suarez has been since he's come up in this league. And it's why Ranger Suarez has been effective as a starter. It's why Ranger Suarez has been effective as a closer. Because if you don't have that kind of stuff, you got to know how to pitch and not just throw. Ranger Suarez knows how to pitch. I've mentioned Greg Maddox today already. And I'm not going to – maybe I'm sitting here comparing Greg Maddox to Ranger – or Ranger Suarez to Greg Maddox. And, and, and I'm going to get a text from one person in particular. And that one person in particular is my father. And my father's going to tell me, what are you doing? Greg Maddox – was is a Hall of Famer. Greg Maddox was the elite. Know how to find a spot and work it. I know you're not comparing Ranger Suarez to Greg Maddox. In a sense, I am, and in a sense, I'm not. Because Greg Maddox is the greatest to ever do it in terms of the pinpoint control, fielding his position, position knowing how to pitch, knowing how to work backwards, and understanding that his stuff... Now, his changeup was awesome, but knowing his stuff is not the elite-level flamethrower stuff and working that to his advantage. Ranger Suarez does the same thing. On top of that, what I uh, am at, uh, in adoration of Ranger Suarez for is his willingness and ability to come out of the bullpen and pitch to success when it's needed. I know that today would have been a bullpen day for Ranger Suarez. He threw two pitches on, what was it, uh, Sunday afternoon. Got two outs on two pitches. Not like he threw a ton. I also know that Ranger Suarez is slated to start game three, which is going to be on Monday evening at Citizens Bank Park. I don't think the 18 pitches or the 15 pitches or whatever it was that he threw are going to cost him anything in the long run. Rob Thompson's trust to go to his lefty in high leverage spots, needing another lefty because Brad Hand wasn't able to do it for you this postseason, knowing that he can get an inning out of Ranger Suarez is so monumental to this team's success 
So Rob, it's a it's a dual threat thing here with Ranger Suarez. It's Rob Thompson's trust and ability and guts to go to his game three starter to get you the most important outs in that situation to face guys like Jordan Alvarez and Alex Bregman and then to come back out for the next inning. And yes, Kyle Tucker got a base hit, but to face Tucker in that situation, coming out of the bullpen, knowing that you're going to have to face the guy again in three days, that's trust in a starter by Rob Thompson. And that's why we started today's show talking about this being a managerial masterclass. On the flip side, that's impeccable ability by Ranger Suarez to go out on a non-scheduled start day to give you innings or inning in this regard and to do it at a high leverage situation and to come through for his team. The ability and willingness of Ranger Suarez in this situation is give, gave the Phillies leverage heading into game two. Because like I said to you, quite frankly, if this game went into the 11th, other than David Robertson throwing another inning, which he threw a ton of pitches in the 10th, other than Robertson throwing another inning and Andrew Bellotti potentially pitching the 11th, I don't know who I would have felt comfortable turning to in this situation. I guess Noah Syndergaard would have been next. I don't think Bailey Falter would have been the spot. It would have been the spot for him. I don't think it would have been the spot for Kyle Gibson. The only other guy that I would have trusted out of the bullpen would have been Noah Syndergaard. And you would have had to bump that up three hitters if you didn't feel confident in Ranger Suarez taking the mound. You know, if you've listened to me on Saturdays or Sundays or talking with Devon at nights you know, during the week, you know how much I value Ranger Suarez. It came to fruition once again last night, and it came to fruition in Game 5 of the NLCS with Rob Thompson's trust and Ranger Suarez's ability and willingness to pitch out of the bullpen on a non-start day. 610-632-0975. Before we get back to the phones, I want to talk to Matt. We've not had an opportunity to talk to Matt too much. We're going to get to Rob and Dominic in just a second. But Matt, before we get to Rob, you were a pitcher in, in your life. You know the difference between starting a game and coming out of the bullpen. Oh, yeah. And I know that in the World Series and in the postseason, it's all hands on deck. It's everybody's available. It's all the cliche stuff. But in this regard, having the ability to turn to Ranger Suarez, even if it's only for three batters, gives this team leverage because they are able to backload everybody else to not have to use Bellotti or not have to use Syndergaard in the extra innings portion of this game oh yeah that's extremely valuable to have somebody like that and yeah it is different when you're a, a starter and a reliever when you're a starter you know ahead of time you know how to mentally prepare you have your own routine when you're a reliever especially if like ranger suarez is a starter he has to you know mentally prepare himself on the fly when sure. he's not otherwise doing that and while you were talking about this i looked up some of his his numbers in high medium leverage sorts of situations and he's almost you're our numbers pitcher. guy by the way here i like numbers. you are our, our statistician you you gave us a book of philly's astro stats heading into the postseason i like numbers i just hope more would be in my bank account but that's okay um we'll throw a couple <laughs> zeros on the end yeah all right in um, the in the sense category yeah that's probably about <laughs> right but he's almost a better pitcher when there's more pressure. But this year, in high leverage situations, which are situations where uh, the outcome or the swing of the game could change, sure. say man second, runners in scoring position, whatever, high leverage situations, batting average against is 180. That's incredible. Medium 220, 228, low leverage is 300. And I know that you're a big BA, BIP. Love the BA, BIP. High leverage 219, medium 262, low 364. So, so he's almost better when there's more pressure. And do you know what that tells me? With the BABIP being higher than the, the batting average, do you know what that tells me, Matt? He's striking hitters out when he needs to most. Yeah. He I is, think we, go ahead. He is, he is at his best with the backup against the wall. And I told you he doesn't have that elite stuff. You, I think you've, you've noticed that. You and I have talked about that. There's no wipeout slider. There's no devastating changeup. There's no, you know, high V low fastball. But when you paint the corners and you're efficient and effective with your location 
and the way that you pitch, that's hard to beat. Oh, most definitely. And like you mentioned, Maddox, the Maddox type. Right. When, when you throw it, Maddox never threw hard. And, nope. But, but he, when he, when he knew, he threw the ball where he wanted it to go. Absolutely. And it went there. And when you do that, it doesn't matter if you throw it hard because that means you have the advantage. If you know where it's going to go and you don't have to worry about your control, then that's, that's another added factor of you getting the batter out. And I think it also helps that Ranger was a converted reliever. He, starter, reliever, closer, starter. Yeah, so <laughs> I think that also Talk helps. about a trajectory. Yeah, no doubt. I think that also helps when you, you bring a – when he could come in in situations like in the NLCS, because he has been in you know reliever situations, but yeah, I mean he's and he just has he just has that. I never saw him smile until the end of the NLCS. Yeah, I never knew he had teeth. <laughs> so I mean, he could have been just gums for all I know. But yeah, I mean it's it's amazing what he's done, and he's definitely one of the more valuable pieces on this team. All right, let's get to the phones. This guy's been hanging for a long time. Robin, Robin Delco, thank you so much for your patience. I really appreciate you joining us this afternoon. Hey, that's cool, Tyler. What's up, man? What's going on, Rob? All right, Tyler, I'm going to pump you up and pump up the can bake even more from Boston, okay? Um, All right, hold, hold on real quick. Say that first part again. I lost you for a second. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pump you up in the fan base if that's possible. Absolutely. Let's do it. Okay, listen. Forget about the numbers. Forget about Alan. Every stat you see, the epic pitching staff that um, Houston has in their starting rotation, in their bullpen, you know, we have no business being here, okay? Still got one, one, one expert, maybe I'm wrong, that makes the Phillies have a shot to beat that. All the numbers say, you know what? Thanks for showing up. You know what I mean? We're just filling out, we're just playing on the string. Participation and, trophies. Yeah, we're just here because they need somebody to play. They can't just find a star yet to play. But you know what? I'm being realistic. Houston is a damn good team. Absolutely incredible baseball team. Okay, well, honestly, one, one of one of the best teams I've seen in a really long – like I know we talk about the Dodgers being 111 wins. That Houston team might have been the best constructed team from top to bottom this season. And right. And what I'm going to say is, you know what? Throw all that out the window. Baseball on the playoffs. Okay, I'm not basing it on the regular season because the playoffs are a different breed than sure. any sport. We're as good as they are starting the playoffs, okay? We're as talented as they are. Yes, overall, if you're basing it on the regular season, sure, they're, they're, they're a better team than we are. But we're not going by that. We're going by game one of the playoffs. And you know what? I don't want to hear anymore we're playing with house money. We deserve to be here. We beat darn good teams here. We beat the defending champions. Not the Houston Astros didn't win it last year. The Braves won it last year. We knocked off the Braves pretty good. Yeah, and, and, and the funny thing with the Braves is they, they lose Freddie Freeman, obviously, in free agency. All they do is go out and acquire Matt Olson. Their team, win record-wise, was better than they were a year ago. I know they didn't get the same kind of numbers from Ian Anderson that they did a year ago, but you get 21 wins. You know I'm not a huge wins proponent guy, but 21 is an impressive number from Kyle Wright. Spencer Strider was incredible as a, as a rookie. You know, I don't think he's going to win Rookie of the Year. I think that might go to, to like, a Michael Harris or an O'Neill Cruz, but he was awesome as a rookie. That Braves team actually may have been better right. this year than they were last year. And remember, they have a queen this year, and they actually didn't have a queen. You know what I mean? Sure. And, but you know what, Tyler? I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm sure some of it's a homer speaking to me. And some of it, you know, really That's all right. We're at, we're at Fan Fest today. This is a pep rally. Be a homer if you want. Tyler, they're going to sweep them. Okay. Uh, gonna, okay. You know, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> you know, listen to me. When they win tonight, when they win tonight and they're up 2-0, they're not leaving Philadelphia. Okay. Maybe it goes five games. Maybe it goes – I'll put a bet on for the Phillies to sweep them. Why not? You know what I mean? What do you got to lose? So, listen. It's, Tyler, it's one of – you just can't put your finger on Every stat, every number says the Phillies have no business. But you know what? You know what never happened to Houston Tower? They never got punched in the mouth. You know what we did? We got punched in the mouth, but we punched them right back. They haven't gotten punched back yet. And you know what? Let's face it. They were lucky to get by the Seattle Mariners. They came back in the ninth. Well, they yeah, I mean, they have the wa – Jordan Alvarez They're hits the walk-off home run, and then they play that, that – so here's the yeah. thing. If you're not a baseball fan, you look at the 18-inning game and go, oh, so boring, 18 innings. If you are a baseball fan and you're like me, I'm like, oh, my God, epic game. This is – every pitch matters. I wouldn't say that they were lucky. I mean, they dispatched of, of Seattle in three games, you know what I mean? So, oh, I know, but they were fortunate. They sure, did. I mean, yeah, and, and there's there are breaks that you need to get throughout any series, right? Think about – 
Think about the game against the Padres. Nick Castellanos hits the ball off the bag. If that goes a half a, half of a, a, a baseball either way, Cronenworth scoops it up, throws it to first, innings over. Instead, they they continue the inning. They score another run. Like you're you have to get se- to a, a sense. You have to get a semblance of luck to get to the World Series. No doubt about it. And I'm gonna end with this. Two quick things. One. The third wild card spot just started this year. That was a break for us. Yep, break absolutely. Break the Universal DH, where well, Bryce Harper would have been on the show for years. So there's two men. Tyler, it's just you can't put your finger on it. Everything is just going our way. Things. I'm going to end with this, okay? Yep, right? go ahead. Game four. JT's on first. They set him in motion. Bryce Harper hits a double into the gap. This is my bleep in house. This is my house. You know what, Tyler? Damn straight is Bryce's house. Go Phil. Love it, Rob. Thanks so much for joining us today. Enjoy uh, game two. Hope, hopefully we get a chance to see you. Uh, here at FanFest today. There is, I think, I think uh, the one thing that Rob said, Matt, that there is always a semblance of luck to go into a postseason run. You can't be, you can't just be, okay, we're good and, and we know we're good and let's, let's call it that. There's always a semblance of luck. You know, you, you get a, a walk-off home run from Jordan Alvarez after the, the Astros look dead for the first half of the game against the, the Seattle Mariners. Luis Garcia comes in. The guy that lost the game last night, Luis Garcia, uh, for the Astros, pitched, I think, six scoreless innings out of relief, out of the bullpen in relief in that game three in 18 innings. He was fantastic. Sometimes you need a modicum of luck, and the Phillies have gotten their sense of luck so far, and, you know, I, you, you parlay that with the fact that they have played some unbelievably timely baseball the things things are shaping up well for this team. Yeah, I think some of the the luck is turned into confidence, and I, I think that because they weren't supposed to at, at the end of the year, you would think they're not supposed to make the playoffs. They don't deserve to be in. Then they're down two nothing in the ninth to the Cardinals. They're not supposed to win that game, and they won. They're not supposed to beat the world champions, the Braves, and they did. Uh, Padres is a different story because if it was the Dodgers, would be would have been yeah they're not supposed to win but I honestly thought the Phillies were better at that point they weren't supposed to win game one against the Astros but they did so yeah I think a lot of the luck that they have had has helped build their confidence sure and I think that's turning into, into confidence and when when Rob said they're going to sweep I mean why not I mean, it, it listen, seems far-fetched, there's, there's, you still got to get 27 outs in a row without losing a game. I, listen, they're going to punch back. There's no doubt oh, about it. I'm sure they will, but, I mean, it, it, I wouldn't call them – I wouldn't think, ah, there's no chance because, hey, why not? So, Matt, I got to ask you a question. You're running this show today. We got all of our engineers. Haley's running YouTube. A lot of people are helping us run this thing, but you're running this show back at the studio. Without you, there's no show. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to default to you. I know we're up against the break. Dominic's been hanging for a while. Can we go to Dominic before we hit the break? Yeah, go ahead. All right, we're going to go to Dominic in South Philly before we hit the break. Dominic, thanks so much for hanging on the line. We really appreciate it. Not a problem. No, no need to thank me. I'm, listen, this is – we're, we're – in in, I can't even speak. <laughs> I can't even speak. This is the thing. I, I believe realistically, like, I know the house money thing and all. I get that when it started. I believe they were a better team than the Cardinals. I really believed that they were going to win that series. Sure, I did too. So, the thing is, this lineup going into the season, I think we everyone going into the season thought this was going to be a top five lineup as far as sure. scoring runs. Things didn't, you know, at certain points, the uh, JT, uh, Schwarber, there's guys that lifted the team. The fact of the matter is, there's two words to describe this team and this year. It's destiny and resilience. Because from game one of the postseason, the way they came back and beat the Cardinals and then win that series, the way in Atlanta in game one, how things could, could change so quickly. They were up big. Atlanta's coming back. Cassianos makes that friggin' cute. He had a great That's, that's two now, yep. Yeah, make that catch because you don't know. Things just could change if they could lose that game. Sure. You don't know. As resilient as there are, things could change. That play... I mean, there's play after play after play that you can go back and look at. So I, with all my heart, believe that they have every right to be here. I know the Astros have more talent as far as the bullpen and maybe the starting pitching deeper. But as far as us bat for bat, I, I just, with all my heart, believe that this team is – they're winning. I just I, – I really, I really believe they're winning. I, I, I six or seven games, but I think we win. I love the second word that you used was resiliency. This team has no quit. This team has no die. They are a team 
that understands that they are one swing away from changing the complexity of the game. And it's yeah. not just Harper. It's yeah. Real Muto. It's uh, every, 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 single every single guy in that lineup trusts their bats. Now, I would imagine tonight that the lineup is going to look a little bit different. I would bet you're probably going to see at least one of Sosa at short or Veerling in center with the lefty on the mound. But even, even if those two guys are, are in the lineup, I love Sosa's defense at short. I trust Veerling enough to be competitive. You know, I'm not going to say I, it's a downgrade defensively just because Marsh has been so darn good defensively. And right. Bryson Stott, I mean, if you, you've heard me say time and time again, I love this kid. I, I just the, the, I can't give enough effusive praise to Bryson Stott. But even with the other two guys, Sosa and Veerling in the lineup, I trust, you know, seven of the nine hitters at the plate, even Castellanos, who's at times looked lost, but he's come through when you need him to come through and delivered you some, some critical moments. Dominic, I appreciate the call. Thanks so much for joining us. 610-632-0975 is the number to join the conversation. we got to uh, take a break. We're way late for the break. But on the other side, we're going to get to Rutger and Simon and everybody else as we broadcast live from Xfinity Live. FanFest is underway, FanFest 2022, and uh, we are here until 3 o'clock on 97.5 The Fanatic. This is 97.5 The Fanatic, live from Fan Fest 2022 at Xfinity Live, presented by FanDuel Sportsbook and on 97.5 The Fanatic, Philadelphia. What are you doing today? You coming down and hanging out with us at, at uh, Fan Fest? You coming out and uh, watching all the games? You're going to go hang with the friends? You're going to hang with the family? You're going to go to a bar? Well, whatever you're doing, I need you to do me a favor and take one thing with you, and that is the Parks casino and sportsbook app download it now for free in your apple store your google play store or at pa.bedparks.com and get in on all of the live awesome action that is happening right now we've talked baseball for the first 90 minutes you can bet tonight's game you can bet player props how about this total bases base hits is do you think a particular player is going to hit a home run do you think a particular player is going to give you a certain amount of outs on the mound? You can bet that as well. And yes, of course, you can always bet the run line, the over-under, the money line. But you can put all of those things together into a same-game parlay and boost your odds. And if you get every single one of those bets right, you're going to take away a nice little payout. Do it on the Fall Classic. You can do it on the basketball and hockey uh Pro seasons are in full swing. Your hometown football team is undefeated. They get set to take on cross-state rival in Pittsburgh tomorrow at 1 o'clock here at the Sports Complex. You can do it all on the Bet Parks Casino and Sportsbook app. But if you don't want to bet on sports, you don't have to just bet on sports. You have all of the casino and table games right at the palm of your hand that you would get in the casino and you don't have to leave your house to do it. So download the Bet Parks Casino and Sportsbook app now. Get that bet down. If you're going to love it. You're going to love the app. You're going to you're going to have a blast playing the table games, the casino games, the slots, and, of course, getting all of your sports action because Philly is sports nirvana this weekend. Must be 21 and in Pennsylvania or New Jersey. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. My husband and I live next door to a haunted graveyard. It's a little creepy, but we manage. Just like we manage without home internet. Do I wish my mobile hotspot was faster? Yes, but I make it work. Kinda. Just like we make it work sleeping next to a 17th century burial ground. <clears throat> Honey, can you move your hand? That's not my hand. It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> not having home internet? It's not that bad. It is that bad. Don't settle for just mobile. Get Xfinity Home Internet and one gigabit of Xfinity Mobile together, starting as low as $24.95 a month when you qualify for Internet Essentials. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit your local Xfinity store today. Restrictions apply. Limited to Internet Essentials, residential customers meeting certain eligibility criteria, taxes and fees extra, pricing subject to change. Xfinity Internet required if no longer eligible for Internet Essentials, regular rate supply. Reduced mobile speeds after 20 gigabytes of data usage. Hey, this is Brian, and I'm the owner of Valley Grove Construction. We are expanding our team and hiring skilled and creative carpenters. As a company that truly values its talented carpenters, we prove it with top dollar pay starting at $30 an hour, a healthy work-life balance, an aggressive 401k plan, a generous vacation package, paid holidays, and even a $100 weekly travel allowance. You heard me right. That's over $5,000 a year 
to help with gas and vehicle expenses. If you're interested in a variety of carpentry work, like framing additions, setting kitchen cabinets, tiling bathrooms, basement remodeling, and historical restoration, then apply today at valleygroveconstruction.com and click the Join Our Team link. If you're tired of not working with great people, not doing the skilled work that you're capable of, or maybe you're self-employed and you're just tired of chasing down all of your suppliers for the materials that seem to never come in, then apply today at valleygroveconstruction.com. That's valleygroveconstruction.com and click the Join Our Team link. Wouldn't it be great if you put 30 to 40% of your energy costs right back into your company's bottom line at little or no cost to you? My friends at Beyond the Bulb can help. They're the energy efficiency experts, winners of the PPL Direct Discount Contractor of the Year. They provide energy efficiency upgrades to commercial and industrial customers in the PICO and PPL utility service areas. They use the local rebate programs that are already there to offset most of the cost to your business. So go to the number one, beyondthebulb.com, or dial 484-246-6542 for a brighter bottom line today. Hey, it's Pat Egan, and I recently went to the all-new Sin City Cabaret for a game day, and whole. Holy sh was I impressed. Sin City is by far the largest and best looking club in the area. The food was great. The TV was the biggest I've ever seen in a club, but the real draw here is what's on stage. Every single girl just was hotter than the next. I was a little distracted from the game, but in the best way possible. So next time you're looking for a party, just head to Sin City, 6130 Pass Yunk Avenue, and if you tell them I sent you, you get free admission before 11 p.m. Repeat after me. I, Kevin, take you, Susan. I, Kevin, Take you, Susan. This is Jamie from Progressive. Shh, Jamie. No, it's all right. I can talk. Progressive protects you 24-7, which means you can contact us anytime. Shh. Hmm. I'm getting a loud shh sound, so I'm going to talk louder. What can I help you with today? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Progressive can do that. Shh. Ugh, there's that noise again. Hold on. Let me put you on speaker. Contact us 24-7 on the phone, online, or on the mobile app. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates covered subject to policy terms. Hey, it's Ricky Bow. If you're looking for a new vehicle this fall, then visit Barlow Buick GMC in Woodbury. They're offering huge savings and competitive financing rates to well-qualified buyers. New vehicles like the GMC Sierra and Acadia or the Buick Enclave are arriving daily, so reserve your now with no additional dealer fees or markups. When it comes to honest pricing and dedicated service, you can always count on Barlow. Visit Barlow, Buick, GMC, and Woodbury or shop online at BarlowAutoGroup.com. Experience the new Buick. GMC, we are professional grade. Finding the right Medicare plan? Oof, no easy feat. Kind of like those dances my granddaughter loves making me do. <laughs> but then I found Walgreens FindRx coverage. Let's you compare plans online, over the phone, or in person. Made Medicare shopping so easy. Plus, I found plans with low-cost copays. <laughs> I can get down with that. When you need to talk Medicare, Walgreens is here. Start shopping today at walgreens.com slash Medicare. My son Finn was born with congenital heart disease and spent the first eight months of his life in the hospital. Starlight Children's Foundation has played an important role in our lives. For five weeks as a baby, Finn lived in a Starlight Hero wagon instead of having to sleep in a hospital bed. Starlight provides moments of joy for families like mine at a time where there's very little to be found. Learn more about how Starlight brightens the lives of sick kids by visiting starlight.org today. Here at Total Wine & More, you'll love what you find this Halloween. <sighs> Thirsty. Oh, hey, Frankenstein. Did you enjoy that Cabernet? Oh, good. What margarita? Well, all the villagers are raving about this tequila. Ooh. And we have it at the lowest price. Economical. Find what you love, love what you find, with the totally lowest prices for Halloween. Only at Total Wine & More. Drink responsibly, B21. Hey, Sixer fans, it's Matt Cord for the Bet Parks app, the official winning partner of your Philadelphia 76ers. The Bet Parks app is fun to use, built around on what you want right from your phone. It's easy to sign up, great customer service, and faster to win than ever before. Download the Bet Parks app today. The Bet Parks Parks app, the official winning partner of your Philadelphia 76ers. Two websites for terms and conditions must be 21 and in Pennsylvania or New Jersey. Gambling problem 1 800 Gambler. Hello, my 4 for 4 fans. November tastes like Miller time in Philadelphia. Join me, Anthony Gargano, and the Tunis. 
Tuesday, November 1st, for a special live broadcast at Tonelli's Pizza Pub in Horsham from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. presented by Miller Lite. Come get pumped up with us before game four. Bring your friends and family. Order their world-famous Tonelli's Pizza, Wings, Cheesesteaks, Hoagies. Get Miller Lite 97-cent drafts. It's going to be a blast. For details, visit the events page on 975thefanatic.com. Hello? Whether you're at home or on the go, listen to 97.5 The Fanatic on Odyssey on your smartphone, Roku, LG Smart TV, Waze, and more. That's Odyssey, A-U-D-A-C-Y. Check it out now. Now, back to FanFest 2022, presented by FanDuel Sportsbook, live from Xfinity Live and on 97.5 The Fanatic. Philadelphia. What's going on, my friends? We are living on the vibes right now. The vibes is this just unbelievable atmosphere. Not just here at Xfinity Live for FanFest, but just in this city. I know we use this cliche thing a lot, but Wawa's more fun. People are nicer. People drive and let you go. Like, I had a moment in the car yesterday where normally... Somebody would probably have flipped me off because I, I probably should have let them go. Like, it was a four-way stop, and I was like, I got to get to work. I'm, I'm just going. I, it probably was not my turn to do that. But people are like, yeah, whatever, come on. Phil's in four. The Eagles are undefeated. Union going to the Eastern. Phillies is an excuse to do that. Oh, I can and you I did. I can and I did. Turn? I can oh and I You're did. You're one of those guys. Not normally. Oh, the Phillies are winning, so I can just so everything's do cool. I want. Okay. No, not normally, but I can and I did in this particular instance. By the way, Matt, I got to tell you, this weekend's programming is brought to you by H and H Heating and Air Conditioning. Get zero percent financing for qualified buyers on a new HVAC system from H and H Heating and Air Conditioning. Visit DelcoHVAC.com for an estimate today. So yes, I am that guy, or I was that guy in that particular spot, Matt. Normally, I'm not that guy. So if the Phillies win the World Series, you're just going to go into Wawa. I'm going on a joyride. Take whatever you no, want. No, 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 no. I'm not going like, to. Oh, no. the Phillies won. No, so I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to break the law. I'm not breaking the law. Well, it's only if they can. Okay, you got What it. I did wasn't breaking the law. Like, I came to a stop at the stop sign. I just jumped in front. Like, what, it, what I did was morally not cool. Not against the law. Like there, yeah. I like that, you. you know what I mean. Like there's a, there's an order, obviously, right? The order is if you come to the, it's four way, right? It's like one, 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 and you let everybody kind of go that way. That's all I did was I just I just jumped the line. It was like skipping the line at a theme park. It's not I'm illegal. Not pushing kids out of the way. No, 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 no. Come on now, I'm not doing that. I'm talking about like. Well, if the Phillies win, that means you can. No, right? it, it it doesn't. No, that's what I'm saying, Matt. It doesn't break the <laughs> it doesn't break the legality thing here. I'm saying I'm just going to tiptoe the line of, like, I'm going to do – I'm going to pull up to the lot because – or I'm going to pull up to the sign and go because nobody's going to stop me. Now, what if somebody shows up to Fan Fest and is like, hey, wait, that looks like the guy that – I know that guy. Yeah, he, he, he cut the line That's today. the bleep, 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 bleep that cut me off earlier today. Yep. Hey, buddy, I got I to gotta have a word with you. That's where I got not, no idea what you're talking about. What kind of car was it? Nah, I don't drive that. Like, I, 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 I ride a bicycle. I, I, don't have, I don't have a car. I ride my, uh, I ride my unicycle to work every day. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> so we are broadcasting live from FanFest, and of course uh, we have to thank a lot of our presenting sponsors, so we're going to do that throughout the show. But I want to give you some of them today. How about uh, the AACR, who brings us Avante Maddox? And, and not only do they bring us Avante Maddox, I'm probably about, I don't know, 15 feet from Avante Maddox. He's hanging out with people. He's taking pictures. He's hanging out with our friends at Imagine Lifestyles. One of these, uh, one of their cars is here right now. It is beautiful. And Matt, they just popped the, uh, they just popped the trunk. You know what was in the trunk? What's that? The engine was oh. in the trunk. But it's a beautiful car. Avante Maddox is hanging out. You get a chance to meet him later today. We thank CSL for uh, uh, being the presenting sponsor for Big Play Slay, Darius Slay. Of course, Betty's Bounces, Elite Landscaping, the Sixers, the Union, the Flyers, and the Wings, Stretch Zone, Comcast Business, the Marines, Philly Sports Trips, and so much more. Thank you to everybody for making FanFest the awesome event that it is. 
once again, and we will be here. Myself and Matt will be on the air until 3 o'clock today, and then we'll be hanging out at FanFest for the remainder of the time. Let's go back to the phones. Everybody's been hanging for uh, patiently for a while. started believing. I'm guilty of not thinking the, sure. team, the Phillies could do anything, and they're just blowing my mind, and I just feel a little guilty, but... I'm along for the ride, gone to the park for a couple games, and it's been awesome. So, I can't believe So, Rucker, I'm going to tell, I'm I'm tell you this. You are not alone in that <laughs> confession or in that admission of, of guilt, right? Because I got on the airwaves. Do you remember the second to last or the final weekend, the second to last series of the year, the Phillies got embarrassed in game one of a doubleheader against the Washington Nationals? Absolutely. You remember that game? I came on the airwaves yeah. post that game. I was I was on the air basically in a in a perfect time slot between the two games, and I remember coming on those air uh, on these airwaves and eviscerating that team, this team for that performance because it was embarrassing and it was unacceptable. And uh, listen, I, I said even when they got into the playoffs, I'm not a, a, a like I'm not was not a big proponent of of adding the third wild card team. I always thought it kind of watered down the postseason product. And I said I don't think. Now that they're in, go and do something. But I'm not going to lie to you and say I think they deserve to be in the playoffs because the way that they were playing heading into the playoffs was not playoff worthy. But I, don't, I, I think you're right. I don't think even the most optimistic, wide-eyed, smiling, always happy, sky is always blue, you know, the Philadelphia sports fan could have envisioned the run that this team has taken us on. Right. That's the yeah, completely agree. And my quick question with with Tucker last night hitting two home runs, being the only run uh, person supporting runs with the Astros, was Tucker with his two home runs. He also had two broken bats, and I'm not saying his bats were corked, right? But the fact that he had two broken bats, do they have any type like when a bat's broken, do the umps ever even investigate the bats, or is there not, anything done? Not usually unless it's cause for suspicion. So like the cause for suspicion could come from the umpire. It also could come from, you know, the opposing team. So like Rob Thompson has the ability to challenge a bat. Um, but I believe the rule is still in place where if you challenge a bat and you don't get it right. I don't believe you're allowed to challenge any more bats for the rest of the game. So you do sometimes, not that this is proper, but you do sometimes run the risk of challenging a bat, losing, and then you can't do anything about it for the rest of the game. So the Astros, in theory, and knowing the trash can banging team exactly. that they are, technically could use cork bats for the rest of the game. Interesting. So, Thank you, man. Thanks so much. Yeah, I appreciate you making the phone call. I, I appreciate you uh, you opening up to us on that transparency as well. And, Matt, you and I have had conversations. You know I've been this way. In fact, maybe I don't remember if you were producing with me or not that afternoon, that Saturday afternoon. I forget if it was you or Mike Vito, but it was one of you two. And I got on the airwaves and absolutely obliterated this baseball team. I'm not sure if. I know there's been times where after a game you have, I don't know if it was that specific one, but yeah, uh, there's, and they deserve it. Every time it happens, sure. they deserve it. It, mean, was, it was deserving of this, the, like, so when people talked about that first sweep against the Cubs coming out of the All-Star break, I, I said, I don't care. I mean, I do care that they got swept by a bad team, but like, there was still 60 some odd games left to play. Everybody loses series to bad teams. That was my conversation piece. I said they were going to be fine. They were going to make the playoffs. Don't get overly aggressive or overly pessimistic about the team because they still have plenty of time left um, to make things up. The second sweep to the Cubs came at a much more detrimental time, and they followed that up with a bad performance in Game 1 against the Nationals in that doubleheader. And my, my brain immediately went to the absolute most negative place that I possibly could and could not get out of that state until they made the playoffs. And then my hope was that they would beat the Cardinals because I thought it was a good matchup for the Phillies against the St. Louis Cardinals, even with both those games being on the road, or all three of those games being on the road. I thought that it was a good matchup. Past that, that's why I use the phrase house money, because past that... I thought that, well, the Braves are the defending World Series champs. They're a good baseball team. I think that this might be where the, series, the season ends. And I will happily take it because they broke the streak, they got into the playoffs, and they did what I expected them to do, which was win the wild card round. Then they win that series. 
Then they win the series against the Padres. And now at this point, we're sitting here saying, Cub series? What, what, what Cub series? Lost yep. to the National? What are we talking about? When did that happen? I don't remember that. I just remember dancing on my own. Yeah, and you remember that for a long time. I felt the same way. I thought after the All-Star break that they just came out slow. No big deal. Because after that, I think what they win like nine in a row or something. They went on a hot streak. Yes. And then and, and, and remember, pe the people were sitting, the, the negative comments were, well, it's just the Nationals, it's just the Marlins, it's just this, that, or the other team. And we, you and I talked about our, you, you know, I, all of our, our weekend conversations run together. I assume I've talked to you at some point. I'm we sure. We talked about the inverse being exponentially worse, right? If they were to have lost series to the Marlins and the Nationals, we would be ripping them, and rightfully so. But they were just rattling off the series victories that they needed to. Yeah. It's just, I guess the Cubs were just that team this year. I, don't, I can't explain it. They couldn't beat them the for Do some The reason. Dodgers were 1-5 in five against the Pirates this year. Yeah, it, it just happens. every year, it happens. It, it, it has been the, the Marlins for the past so many sure. years. Hey, it's just one of those teams... Um, but, yeah, I, your comment about house money, yeah, I completely agree because if the, if the Phillies split or say they won one against the Cardinals and then they lost, I still think that um, it would be looked at as a successful season. If they would have beat the Cardinals and lost to the Braves, nobody's going to say that it was not a successful season. That would have been, been acceptable to me. Yeah, and, and, and there's, it's a lot to build on. That's what would be the sure. talk is they have experience now. They have a lot to build on. Maybe there's just a couple pieces. But now, man, they're three games away. Three games away from a World Series title. And, again, it's not going to be easy. This Astros team is not going to roll over. You've got to fight for everything that you want to accomplish. But you've put yourself in a good spot, and you've taken momentum from a 107-win team. Yeah. And you hear it. You hear the song? Matt, I'm oh, sure you can it. hear yeah. it. Echoing yep. through the uh, the area, this team's you dancing. Do a count. A, you got to do a count. So that's so that's many... two since Fan Fest started. It's one, but I've heard it twice today so far. All right, you're gonna have to try to keep count. I'll keep track <laughs> with the next hour and ten minutes. Let's go back to the phones and uh, chat with Simon in Center City up next on the Fanatic. What's up, Simon? How you doing today? I'm living, man. I'm on vibes and I am thriving. You'd have to go back maybe to 1900 to find. Five days in a row that we have these five glorious days. How about that, man? Friday win, Saturday win, World Series, <laughs> Sunday. You're, you're already marking it down as a victory with Wheeler on the mound, Definitely, huh? Absolutely, I'll tell you what. But uh, Sunday, come on. The Eagles have never been this clearly the uncontroverted best team in the NFL this early, and they're going to – Destroy the well, I think they're I think they're un, undoubtedly the best team in the NFC, and I know that their and record Monday stands Tuesday. alone. Monday, Tuesday. So let me just a couple of comments. Sure. I was at Game One with my kids, Yankees, Phillies, World Series, 09. Cliff Lee was mowing down the Yankees. Strikeout, uh -huh. strikeout, strikeout. Somebody hit a, a hard shot back to Cliff Lee. Remember what he did? He backhanded it. He caught the ball behind his back. Yep, pitcher. Oh, yep. He caught the ball, and he threw it up in the air. I thought, did he bobble it? He was playing catch with himself. And you know what I also love? It's very subtle. Nobody's ever mentioned it. When Nick Castellano strikes out, you know what he does? He blows the bubble. He walks back. He's got the chewing gum. <laughs> and it's like, I'll get you next time. Doesn't bother me. No worries. They are playing so cool, and their leader is their manager and Bryce Hopper. So my, the bottom line is this. Tonight is a career-defining moment for the best pitcher on the Phillies. I, I, and other than um, Cole Hamels, the best pitcher since Cole Hamels. And that's Zach Wheeler. And tonight is his career. So I'm looking for a holiday. I'm looking yeah, for I was going to ask, are you talking career-defining for guys that haven't had it yet? Because Holiday is the best pitcher that this, this city's seen in that span. Okay, because I, I'm looking for a holiday-type performance. Fair. I mean, I'm not looking for a no-hitter, but it's fair to ask for a seven strong. Uh, absolutely. And the, the other thing, let me tell you something. For sure, we have not seen the real Phillies yet. Castellanos is overdue for Homer. And you know who my boy is? Bryson Stott. Is Love Bryson Stott. And I would even, you put Fearling in, 
He can, he can launch them. Beerling's got power. So these are guys, and so does Gene Segura. So he, here's the here's the only thing, Simon. I'm not sure if Bryson Stott's going to be in the lineup today with a lefty pitching. They're not going to have lefty pitching. Though. Yeah. For, so well, no, you're right. So my 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 thinking is that is Edmundo Sosa is probably going to start today at shortstop. Uh, you may see St you probably will see Stott at some point today though if you get a matchup that that works the right way. But uh, but Simon. Sit home or Sosa's got power. Sosa's a good guy. Love to hear it, Simon. Thank. Thanks, to, th thanks for the phone call. You're, you're, you're right. They've not put 100% of a game together yet, but they've battled and they've, they've clawed and they've fought. And here's the thing. This team, as, a, as, as Matt used this word, as one of our callers, I uh, believe it was uh, Rob used this word before, resiliency is key. Again, you are not going to let the, – they're, the, the Astros are not going to let you walk all over them. They are going to punch you back. It's about taking that punch and standing up. 610-632-0975 is the number to join the conversation. Rome and everybody else on the lines, we're going to get to you in the 2 o'clock hour if you don't mind hanging through the break. Matt Menark is producing today's show. We have one more hour as we broadcast live from Xfinity Live. Fan Fest is underway. We have an awesome crowd already. Come on out and say hello if you're, uh, if you're not here yet. And here's the thing. If you don't have tickets, you're in the area. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this right now. My bosses aren't listening. They're working, walking around. If you're in the area and you're walking around, we'll get you in. 610-632-0975. We'll be right back on 97.5 The Fanatic. This is 97.5 The Fanatic. Live from Fan Fest 2022 at Xfinity Live. Presented by FanDuel Sportsbook. And on 97.5 The Fanatic. Philadelphia. I said I want to get you into this place, and I can get you into here for free. The one place, unfortunately, I can't get you into for free is uh, the bank for game three, four, and five. However, I do have a good alternative for you to uh, get into the bank without having to pay crazy fees and markup fees. Listen, we understand what secondary sites do to you. It's, it's difficult when you see a price, and then after you get ready to check out, you've got dealer fees, and you've got tax fees, and you've got venue fees and all of that, it really jacks the price up pretty quickly and you go from, I don't know, maybe a $200 uh, Game 3 ticket to a $400 Game 3 ticket and that really stinks. So, I've got an alternative for you that's not going to charge you those exorbitant fees. TickPick.com. That's T-I-C-K-P-I-C-K.com. They have you covered. They are not going to charge you any of those fees. And how about this? If you use the promo code FANATIC when you go to get those tickets for the next three games, you can save an extra $50 on your tickets. I know tickets are expensive. So does TickPick.com. But you can get $50 off your next ticket if you use the promo code. There's a reason Comcast Business powers more businesses than any other provider. Actually, there's a few. Comcast Business offers the fastest reliable network, the peace of mind that comes with Security Edge, helping to protect all your connected devices, and the most reliable 5G mobile network. Want me to keep going? I can. Whether your small business is starting or growing, you need Comcast Business. Technology solutions that put you ahead and give you serious savings. Comcast Business, powering possibilities. Get started with fast, reliable internet for just $49 a month for 12 months with no annual contract. Plus, find out how to get up to a $500 prepaid card with a qualifying bundle. Offer ends 11-13-2022. Restrictions apply. New Comcast Business 50 megabits per second internet customers only. Requires enrollment in EcoBill and AutoPay. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. Comcast Business Mobile utilizes the network with the most fruit metrics 5D data reliability wins in 1H 2022. Results may vary. Award is not an endorsement. Hi guys, it's Andrew with Oak Hills Medical Clinic. Are you struggling with ED and sick of the pills? Well, we have a major medical breakthrough that has helped thousands of men in the next two minutes. 215-302-9999. That's 215-302-9999. Guys, put a stop to your ED.